I'm always in the search of new tools to run large language models locally. In this video, I'm very excited to share with you this new tool, which is called as LL Aminator. It is a bit of a tongue twister, so I will try to say it as little as possible. But this tool lets you run and test large language models locally, but directly from Hugging Face. It's a simple chatbot which uses Gradio, Langchain, Torch and few other things at the back end and it enables you to download and run any model directly from Hugging Face. It has context aware chatbot features. It has inbuilt code syntax highlighting if you want it for any code models. It loads any LLM report directly from Hugging Face. It supports both CPU and CUDA modes. So if you don't have any GPU, you want to run any smallish model on CPU, you can do that easily. And it enables the LLM inference with Llama.cpp using Llama CPP Python. If you don't know what Llama CPP Python is, I have covered it in my video in great detail. Okay, so enough theory. Let's get into it and try to get it installed locally and then we will play around with it. The system which I'm going to use is my local Ubuntu system. You can use the Windows for it or Mac if you like. So I have Ubuntu 22.04 and I am using this NVIDIA card. Let me quickly show you. And my GPU is 22 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear the screen. The first thing we need to do, we need to git clone that repo. Let me take you back and I will tell you how to clone it. So just scroll up in that repo. I'll drop the link to this repo in video's description. Just click on this green button, grab the URL, and then let's go back to our terminal. And this is my terminal. Just simply type or paste that URL. Press enter and URL is there. Let's cd to that. And that is also done. Let me clear my screen. Now, we need to install some of the prerequisites, but for that, before we do that, we need to create a virtual environment so that whatever we are installing keeps separate and nice and tidy and it won't impact our own original settings on the system. For that, the tool which I'm going to use is called as Anaconda. So this is my Anaconda or Conda, which I'm running. If you don't know what Anaconda is, please search my channel. I have done few videos on it. Okay, so let's first create the virtual environment through Conda. I'm just creating a virtual environment with this Conda create command. Name is LLminator and Python version is 3.11. And just press Y when it asks you to. And then press enter. It is going to install all the prerequisites. Let's activate this LLminator environment. And then you will see that it appears in parentheses. Let's clear the screen. And this is where we need to proceed by installing all the prerequisites. So just simply do pip install dash r requirements.txt and it is going to install everything in your virtual environment. So let's wait for this one to finish. Should not take too long. So as you can see that it is installing hugging face, gradio, langchain, client, some of the NVIDIA drivers and that sort of stuff. All the prerequisites are done, took a bit of a time. Let's clear the screen. And now we need to build this LLminator with this llama.cpp. You can use either make command or cmake command. So just type make and then press enter. It is going to build it. And this is the source. Let's wait for it to finish. Build is done. And this is where our installation is complete. Let me clear the screen. And then let me show you the content of this directory. And this is the first file which we need to run like this Python web ui.py. And this is IP, whatever IP you need, you can just give it and then whatever you know port you want. So 7860 is the default port. If you don't specify host, it will be running on your local host. So let me run it. And once you run it, it by default is just downloading this table code. But of course, you can go into that web dot web UI dot py and change the model name, and I will shortly show you. So it is downloading this model. There are uh, I guess two tensors of that model. So let's wait for it to finish downloading that model. 
and then we will access it in our web browser and you can see that now ll aminator is running on our local system on this uh, local url at port 7860 also uh, you can access it on gradius public url if you want but i'm going to access it on my local system so if you go to browser and load that you will be presented with this screen and this is your eliminator successfully installed you can uh, select any other model if you like but as we already have downloaded it by default and as you see that i it is already selected cuda because i am using my gpu for it if you click on this model step from here you can download and snapshot and from here you can just give uh, any other hugging face repo and then you can even convert it to any other format but i think for now i can only see that there is gguf format is there and this is a model you can also remove the model if you like if you uh, want to select any other model so fairly simple interface which you can use and you can chat with it by sim simply typing the prompt here like write me a python program to reversal list press enter and then it is going to run it on your local system and interesting bit it while you are running it it is also running it on your um, terminal if you want to look at it and then if i take you back this is what it has done so if you go up look at it so it has just gone step by step that we'll start by creating an empty list and then add some items and then reverse the list how good is that so this is a little emulator for you i hope that you liked it if you have any questions or thoughts let me know and i'll be happy to answer them for you if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot and before i leave you for the next video there is one thing i wanted to mention it, uh, to you on the channel as someone has asked that how can they uh, support the channel because all of these running of the models and all that stuff these runs on very expensive gpus and stuff so people want to support and like so first thank you for, so much for offering it so if you want to support the channel and everything then there are two ways of doing it you can either you know click on this link to buy me a coffee or you could become a patron by following this link so and don't feel compelled um totally your choice i'm uh, i'm just mentioning it in this video because few people asked so i just wanted to make sure that people are aware of it uh, but don't feel any compulsion it's all voluntary but thanks a lot for your support for everything much much appreciated i hope that you enjoyed this video if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching